in this question we have been given that g of s is equal to y of s divided by u of s which is then equal to s plus 28 divided by s plus 2 multiplied by s plus 8 multiplied by s plus 6 okay now the canonial variable method by applying that will get b sorry u uh, y divided by u is equal to given divided by s plus 2 plus of k2 divided by s plus 8 plus of k3 divided by s plus 6 so we do know the values of given as 13 divided by 12 k2 as minus of 11 divided by 4 and k3 as 5 divided by 3 so now we will get y divided by u as x1 divided by u1 plus x2 divided by u2 plus x3 divided by u3 where we do know that u is equal to u1 which is equal to u2 which is equal to u3 so y would be equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 now let us give this equation number one so from over here we can say that x1 divided by u is equal to k1 divided by s plus 2 and x2 divided by u is equal to k2 divided by s plus 8 okay so s x1 plus 2 x1 is equal to k1 u whereas s x2 plus 8 x2 is equal to k to u now we can say that dx divided by dt would be equal to x1 naught which is equal to minus of 2x1 plus k1 u and x2 naught would be equal to minus of 8 x2 plus k2 u okay so x3 divided by u would be equal to k3 divided by s plus 6 where we will get s x3 plus of 6 x3 would be equal to k3 u and then finally we will get the value of x3 naught as minus 6 x3 plus of k3 u so this is the first required answer this one is the second required answer and this one is the third required answer.